Hey guys, there's a new image generation model in town called SRPO, developed by Tencent, that can create natural-looking pictures of humans, free from the plastic skin look. It's based on the Flux One Dev model. In this video, we're going to see where you can download the model and how to use it inside Comfy UI. So, let's get started. The download links are in the description. First, let's see where you can download the full model. So, let's open this link in the browser. This is the full model, which is named Diffusion PyTorch Model. Safatensors. It's a pretty big file, around 47.6 GB. To run this model, you'll really need a lot of VRAM. So, if you can run it, use it. If you can't, there are a lot of quantized models available in both Safatensors and GGUF formats. Let me show you. So, the first quantized model I want to show you is called SRPO Refine Quantized V1.0, which can generate images with great clarity. To download this model, let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. If we scroll down, we can find an FP8 model of SRPO in, Safatensors format, and a Q8 and a Q4 model in, GGUF formats. Depending on your computer, try any of these models. The same user then uploaded another set of quantized models of SRPO. They also work with Comfy UI. From my experiments, the results are good, but slightly different from the Refine model. To download this, let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. So the model is available in FP8 Safatensors format, as well as in Q8 and Q4 GGUF formats. Depending on your system configuration, you can try any of these. Also, another user has created quantized models of SRPO in GGUF format. Let me show you that. Let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. So here we can find a lot of quantized models in GGUF format. So guys, depending on your computer configuration, try any of these. After downloading, let's see where we need to put the files inside Comfy UI. So let's open the downloads folder. Here I have different quantized models of SRPO in Safatensors and GGUF formats. Let's select all of them, cut them, and then open the Comfy UI models folder. Find and open the diffusion models folder, then paste the files. Now let's switch to Comfy UI. First, let's refresh it by pressing R on the keyboard. Now we are ready, let's start building the workflow. Instead of building from nothing, let's use a template that made for Flux 1 Dev. So, let's click on the Templates option, then go to the Flux section. Scroll down and look for a template called Flux Dev FP8. Here it is. Let's click on it. Let's close these messages. We don't need these two nodes, so let's delete them. Now, let's add a Load Diffusion Model node for loading SRPO. Double click and search for the load diffusion model node. Here it is. Let's click on it. Let's zoom in a little bit. In the UNet name field, select the SRPO model you want to use. I'm going to choose the Refine model, which is named Flux One Dev SRPO V1 FP8. Then, connect the model output of the load diffusion model node to the model input of the K sampler. Here's another thing you need to know the official workflow provided by Tencent has a node called Model Sampling Flux. I don't see much difference with that node, but you can try different settings to see if it really improves the generation. So, let's add the model sampling flux node. Then, connect the model output of the load diffusion model node to the model input of the model sampling flux. Next, connect the model output of the model sampling flux node to the model input of the K sampler. And guys, if you are using a different resolution, make sure you input those resolution values into model sampling flux. Also, experiment with max shift and base shift to see how they affect your image generation. Next, let's add a node for loading text encoders. Because SRPO is based on Flux 1 Dev, we can use the same text encoders that Flux 1 Dev uses for image generation. So, let's add a dual clip loader. Double click and search for dual clip loader. Here it is, let's click on it. In clip name 1, let's select clip L. Safatensors. In clip name 2, I'm going to use the FP8 format of T5XXL. Then, change the type from SDXL to Flux. Then, let's add a node for loading the VAE. Double click and search for load VAE. Here it is. Let's click on it. In the VAE name field, select the VAE used for the Flux 1 dev model. Mine is called AE.Safatensors. Next, Let's connect the clip output of the dual clip loader to the clip inputs of the positive prompt and negative prompt nodes. Then, connect the VAE output of the load VAE node to the VAE input of the VAE decode node. Now, let's change some settings in the K sampler node. The steps will be 50. For the CFG value, it will be 1.0. 
The sampler is Euler. The scheduler I'm going to use is beta. Now we are ready. Let's start generating an image. I have some text prompts in my notepad. Let's copy one of them and paste it inside the positive prompt node. Then let's run the workflow and wait for the result. So the generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the image. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the result is pretty good and there is no plastic skin look in it. Now let's try the other SRPO model. This time I'm going to use a fixed seed. Let's select the other SRPO model in the load diffusion model node. I'm going to use the same prompt as before. Let's run the workflow and see the result. Here we are. The generation is finished. Let's take a look at it. Well, I think the result is good. The skin textures look good. Now, let's try the refine model again with the same seed and prompt. So, I'm going to choose the refine model in the load diffusion model node. Let's run the workflow and see the result. Here we are, the generation is finished. Let's take a look at it. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the result is much better than the non-refined model of SRPO. There is more clarity in this picture, while the result from the non-refined SRPO model looks dull in this case. Now, let's see how we can use the GGUF model. Let's go back to the comfy UI interface. So, double-click and search for GGUF Loader. This is a custom node that comes in a custom node pack called GGUF, which was developed by CalQuiz. So, connect the model output of the GGUF Loader to the model input of Model Sampling Flux. Then, in the GGUF name field, select the SRPO GGUF model. That's it. Then, run the workflow to see the result. So guys, download the model and test it yourselves. Let me know what you think about SRPO. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.